Hello and welcome to the Home and Learn video course for VisualBasic.net. I'm Kenny Carney and we're going to continue with our multiple forms in this section. We've got one there, we've got one there. And we're going to get um, a value from one form to another. So we're going to, uh, for the second form, we're going to turn it into a change case dialog box. Change case. You can make that one a little bit smaller in your form, if you like. And add another button. Uh, if I cancel. Okay. I'll cancel on. That one. We'll call it button cancel. Cancel on. That one. And if you got, as you can see for the OK one, we've got dialog result, dialog result dot OK. It's a similar one. Dialog result equals dialog result. This time cancel. So if this button is clicked, then it will automatically cancel and, and it will close down the form. Uh, now add, uh, what do we containers? Add a group box. As I'll make a little bit bigger and change the text. Let's say change case. Change case. I want to change the font. Go back to common controls and for your radio buttons. If you add one here, first radio button, call it uppercase. Uppercase. And radio button two, have that as lowercase, lowercase, and the third one, have that one as proper case, proper case, that, put that one there, right, and for your form one, uh, just add a text box. Text box here. Text box. Text box one. Put a bit bigger. Uh, we'll have some default text. Default text. Maybe that's lowercase d. Lowercase d. Right. So what we want to do? Uh, form one is going to load first. Right, and then we're going to click this button, and it's going to launch our change case dialog box, which is this one. Now we want to select, say, the uppercase. We want to select that one, and we click OK. And any text that we've got in here wants to be changed to uppercase, or lowercase, or proper case. The problem we have is that this second form it knows nothing about this text box. It knows absolutely nothing about it. So we need a way to pass the text box and its information over to this form. And the way you do it, you can set up something called a shared variables. Go back to your form one code and you can add another variable here. Let's call it just TB for text box. No, that's not it. It needs to be public. No, it needs to be shared. Shared. That one. Then you can do your, uh, Name for the variable tb and as text box. That's just uh, um, a generic text box. It could be any text box on the form. But we need a specific text box. So go over to here and if you double click anywhere on the form, you'll get your form load event. Form load event. This could doesn't need to go here, it could go there to be honest. But we need to assign our specific text box, which is text box one to this variable tb so just text box one so how's it going text box one that one that assigns uh, the text box to call text box one to this variable which is a shared shared now we can go back to the code for the second form this one we need a load i oh, probably don't need a load event there that one so for button okay uh, we still need that dialog result. Set up a new variable. Let's call it uh, 
chain case. So it's going to be a string. We got a change case. We need to assign something to it. Right, so now we can reference form one. Form one. If I do that and take the dot, hopefully you'll see that TB, TB variable. There it is from form one. Now let's take another dot. It should be a text property. So the text property from TB, which was text box one of form one. That reference a text box on form one. And so what we can do now is set up if statements. So check those radio buttons. Radio button one. Got checked. Equals true. Then yeah. I'm going to say change case equals change case dot true upper. We will call we need that one. And we can say else if three button two dot I'm gonna check a line for that one. I don't need check a line, I need checked. Checked. Not on. Is that right? I've got check a line again. Checked. That's the one. Not check a line. And change case. Girls. Change case. Dot to lower. To lower. And else if. Third one. We've got three. Let's make sure I've got checked. Yeah, it's checked. Not check a line. Then. Well, we have to convert this to proper case. You've seen this before, I think. SDR convert that one in round brackets. And whatever you are trying to change, we're trying to change change case. And a comma and as BB SDR convert that one and a dot. And you'll see proper case. Proper case is on the list. Uh, there's one uh, one more thing to note on here with boolean variables. Like if a radio button one dot checked, I put the tr equals true there, uh, but you don't need to. You can miss it out entirely. and it's assumed it's going to be true. Or you could do. I think there's a not keyword. If not, is there not? Yeah, that would mean false. But if you miss it out, it means true. So you don't need it there. But um, to be honest, I like to add it. So it makes it a lot more clearer than if you're missing out. Yeah, so it is optional, so you don't have to do it. All right, now we need to put uh, we need to put the value back into the form one text box. So form one, then that TB again, TB, and the text property, text property, and it's going it, to like, change case. Not any equal sign. Equals change case. I think that is it. We've got the cancel. We've still got that dialog result OK, which is going to uh, automatically close down our change case form. Let's try it. See how far we've got. Let's have a change case. That default text is lower case. Now I can take up R. Let me try. Yep, so it's a model dialog box. I can't. I've got to deal with it. I click OK. As I say, that message box from previously. Default text. Let me get rid of that. Oh. This one it's coming from, isn't it? So you can see it more clearly. Let me change case. Let me try the lower this time. OK, and it's lowercase. It already was a lowercase, wasn't it? Uppercase. Right, default text, uppercase. Lowercase. Yeah. Proper case work. It's proper case works. So it's the cancel button work. Yes, it's still on there. And that is the model dialog box. I have to get one piece of data from one form to another. And I think we will leave it there. I will see you again.